hello and welcome this is KOGK Productions today I'm going to show you how to make a bat hitting a ball animation so what you want to do first is you want to go to front view and maximize it then you want to go to your create tab and click on this one which is uh, shapes and be sure it's it has selected splines and click on line okay you want to shape it like sort of a half bat thing it can be very difficult actually to make it hit right so I'm not gonna try more than once but you might want to try sometimes before you get it right go to the yellow one and when it asks you to close this blind hit yes now you have sort of a half bat but yeah well it's not very smooth in it so what you want to do is you want to make sure you have selected it go to your modifier tab click vertex scroll the way down to find fill it. Click fill it, select the ones you want to fill and fill ahead. Now do these this is more points which has to be filled, which is only two points in my case. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure you have selected it. Now you can zoom out. Make sure you have selected it. Go to your modifier list and hit L. Take the upper one, the lathe. Hit this one. Now you can click min center and max minimum center and max just to sort of fit it to your own needs now as you see this looks kind of a bad thing but you had to um hung the edge down here well that you can fix by trying more than once i told you i was only going to try one i'm just going to select this one now just imagine it was bad and not just this cylinder thing so select it and uh, put it in a position like I want to make it look like a wood. So hit the M key on your keyboard and your material editor should open. Select the first one. And hit the go down to diffuse and hit this um weird button with nothing on. And you got there? Go to the button one which is wood. Hit OK. Now drag and drop the wood to the um line one it's called. Now just to test it's working, let's try to render this image. See? It's wood material. Okay. Now, we do not want to make the ball until we finished up our animation. So we want to um, click Auto key down here, and then we want to go to somewhere frame 10. Click rotate. Make it somewhat of a realistic. Uh, what you would do if you were gonna swing a bat back. I use normally 20 frames to get the swing back. Someone like this. Then I smoothen it in afterwards. Now if you remove one frame, keyframe right there, here blade. And here it should be more like this. There that should be okay. It's not that perfect that I didn't spend a long time to do it, but that's okay. Now what you want to do now is you want to go to you know, somewhat four for than the most back ones, but that's 24 for me. Then you want to swing your bat forward like this, a bit up. Then you want to go to three keyframes forward and take it all the way up here. So now it should have a swing forward animation as well. I can't see it probably because I'm recording and that would just kind of laggy. Okay, now. When you make that animation, you want to make a ball. So, you go to your create tab, you go to geometry, hit the box, no, no, sorry, hit the sphere and make a somewhat realistic uh, ball size. Now, to test out if it's the real size, you can just move it up here against the bat and see is that going to work out as a ball? It sure is. Now, hit the M key because we want to make it a tennis ball. Hit, click a new material. And go to diffuse, hit the color, find a somewhat um, tennis ball color. Just click one and drag and drop it to the ball and apply it. Okay. What you want to do now is you want to zoom in. And okay, and what you want to do is you want to go to the last animation and then you want to place it just to. 
uh, and then you wanna move it just up to the bed, like if it was in the bed. There you go. Yeah, move it a bit into the bed. There. Now that has to be. Uh, then you have to remove the first frame right there, so it'll stay there. There we go. Now take a one frame forward, and then you move it a bit and up. Then take a couple of frames forward. Then you move it a lot with the y-axis and up with the z-axis. Remember always to move it up to make it more realistic. Go a bit frame, just a few frames forward. Move it longer out. Move it longer up, and try to watch it. And that should do it for now. You can of course smoothen up your animation and everything. It's just a rough start. So what you want to do is you want to go to render setup. You're going to range 50 or whatever frame you want as an end frame. Find a place. Tutorial bet. Just save it. No, oh, sorry. Remember to select AVI. Save. You should know how to do this. I'm not really explaining. I'm just doing it. Okay. Now let's try to render it. This is of course a not the correct angle, but it it should do. It's slower rendering when I'm recording, so just gonna wait. Um, it's not as smooth and not as good as the one I uploaded on YouTube, and that took a longer time to make, and I put it more effort into it. And made it look more like a bat. This is not really a bat. Um, you can experiment with making it a bat. I just made kind of a cylinder because I need something wrong. I just you go ahead, experiment with it. Now you've actually got it. Change the angle, make the bat look more like a bat, or modify it in what you want. Okay, let's just try to watch the animation. Tutorial bat. Play and see. Watch and learn. If it even does want to open, there we go. That's an okay animation. Uh, okay, I hope you like my tutorial. Uh, I will upload some other ones later.